All right, guys, welcome back to part number two. I'm going to finish up with this real quick, hopefully. Um, got a couple more IROC Zs. If you guys are wondering why you can't find them, I am the reason why. <laughs> uh, I pick up all of them that I could find for some reason. Actually, that's not true. I used to pick up every one, but I've gotten so darn many of those things now that uh, I don't even bother picking them up anymore because, uh, <laughs> because I have too many. I'm just checking over here to make sure that I don't have any stuff that fell off the countertop. Nope. So we are good. Uh, there's the Ma another Maverick Grabber that I picked up uh, for Mario, Mr. TF Collector. Um, here is a uh, Pontiac GTO, which I didn't know if I already had or not, so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, if not, Mario, that can be yours if you need it. Um, for my 2012 set, picked up two of the Mustangs that I needed right there. The uh, 2012 Mustang Boss 302 Laguna Seca and the 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Uh, consecutively one on top, second one on the bottom. Um, and Hot Wheels are still on sale, guys, so less than a buck, like 80-something cents, I think, now. I don't even pay attention anymore. Um, I found this one, thought this was awesome. Ford Mustang Fastback. Right there, black with red stripes. Uh, and that's Street Beast 2012. Um, I found another cool Mustang at the flea market. I really want to show it to you. Uh, it's in this box somewhere. Uh, some other cool stuff I found at the flea market, which Max Talicat is going to go knockers over. Um, but uh, three different colored 57 Chevys. There's a dark blue one right there, a red one with silver stripes and gold rims, and then a teal one. That one doesn't have the engine showing, the other two do. Uh, the teal one is a 57 Chevy, uh, Hot Wheels 1999. The red one is a 57 Chevy Hot Wheels from 1998. And this one is the Blue Streak series. It's got the Hot Wheels logo on the trunk. Um, and this is from 1996. So, um, pretty cool little group of 57 Chevys. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Mextalicat's actually getting me into these things, so I really, it's kind of kind of get harder for me to part with some of this stuff. I um, found the uh, Hot Ones Chevy Silverado that everybody's trying to find. I found a couple more, but I only picked up the one. Um, Mario, this is actually for you. I found a second Pro Stock Camaro. Uh, so this one's for you, buddy. Uh, another Volkswagen, Team Volkswagen Bug. Um, another one that I needed for the set, the GTX-1 from 2012. So I picked that up and have that already. Uh, another one that I got for free from the guy at the flea market. It's a Volkswagen Bug right there, 40th anniversary of Hot Wheels. Black, flat black with uh, black, silver pinstripes. Volkswagen Bug on a short card. So I went ahead and picked that up. Of course, for free, it's kind of hard not to. Uh, this new Corvette, picked that up for the uh, new set. Um, this thing looked kind of cool, the Spector. So I went ahead and picked that up right there. Um, and like I said, this isn't all in just one day. This has been accumulated over weeks. I just haven't done a video, so I apologize, everybody. Uh, Fangula, right there, for 2012. And then, I, like I said, some of the stuff I might take back, some of it I'll probably hang on to. Uh, come here, come to daddy. Come to daddy. Oh, come to daddy. Oi. Sorry, I'm having trouble reaching some of this stuff. Another one for Mario, TF Collectors. I know he needed this one for his set, the Copo Corvette. These are getting hard to find, so I picked that one up. This was actually given to me. Uh, well, here, I'll do that one in a minute. Uh, this is another one I picked up. Dude, this Mustang is absolutely beautiful. If you can see that. Look at that Mustang. Look at the stance on that thing. The colors. And check out them red line wheels. He gave that one to me for free as well at the flea market. But that's an amazing Mustang. Um, found 
something else for Dreadnought, which is going in his box. Dodge Monaco Ace Cab. So I figured he would probably appreciate that. So yet another Monaco for his torrent of Monacos that I'm going to be sending his way. Um, and then um, I got this 41 Willys right here. Didn't have this one for my uh, Hot Wheels Racing uh, collection, so I'm going to go ahead and open her up. And there you have your Hot Wheels Racing 41 Willys right there. Loose and out of the package, ready to join its brothers. And then you have a Ford F100 panel delivery from Matchbox that I found for 80 cents right there which I thought was pretty cool uh, and then you have this really awesome 50's Chevy truck this Ed Pink 50's Chevy truck right here and if you can't see that somebody has already somehow managed to dick up the package so you know what that means if it's not mint on card I don't keep it on card oh, and this sucker's heavy man and there's some type, oh dude, that's sweet. Not only is this thing all metal, base and body, uh, it's flat black with pink windows and pink racing stripes. And then the bed actually lifts and dumps. So that's probably going to go with my wife's pink cars, but that is just an amazingly awesome uh, casting and I definitely definitely was not gonna pass that up me and Sean actually saw this thing at the exact same moment um, but he was nice enough to uh, to let me be the one to purchase it so I do appreciate that and my wife will too um, something else my buddy Sean found that he hooked me up with check out the wheels on that thing right there oh yes Hot Ones Chase Piece, Lotus Esprit, a Spirit, Esprit, whatever, but really, really, really cool Hot Ones piece. He actually found two of these, which is why I ended up with one of them. And something that everybody and their brother has been looking for. Got a couple of these Hot Wheels Nostalgia Nose Art cars. Um, so far I have the Baja Breaker, the Dream Van. And then on the back, that, that Chevy C3500, Sean's got one of those for me too. Um, so I should have the, the Chevy 3500, C3500, the Dream Van, the Baja Breaker, and hopefully I can find the rest of the set. Um, I really need the Austin minivan, the Dairy Delivery, and the Ford Bronco. I'd like to have two sets of this so that I could open one set and then keep one mint on card. Um, but I'm, I'm totally happy with completing and only having one set mint on card. But at the same time, you know, I need to uh, complete the first set before I even think about the second one. Coming to the end of our little haul here. Oh, gosh. Which one do I do first? Okay, I got some really cool stuff. First of all, I got this for like three bucks at the flea market. It's another one of the... Uh, Another one of the Johnny Lightning Volkswagen buses that I do not have for my collection yet, so I went ahead and picked that one up. Uh, I got this one for steel at the flea market right here. This is your uh, Hot Wheels Phil's Garage orange and black drag bus. And I'm going to pull a master loafer here, okay? Um, this card is not in mint condition. If you can see, it's a little dinged up, there's some creases, some veins in it, the corners are a little smushed. Mm, it hurts so bad to do this, but it feels so good to hold this in my hands. There it is. Opened up the Phil's Garage uh, Volkswagen drag bus, orange and black. Is it? Look at that tailpipe. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. So beautiful. Such an awesome car. Big, heavy, monstrous ball of amazingness. But anyways, there it is. It's open. It's loose. It rolls like a jackrabbit with its ass on fire. And uh, so cool, man. 
So cool. That hurt. That, I've got tingles. I've got blisters on my fingers from opening that. But anyways, these are the two coolest things that I picked up. And I'm over 10 minutes, so hopefully this thing will still let me um, upload. But these are the two coolest cars that I picked up. And, um, and what they are is another Hot Wheels garage, Phil's garage, Volkswagen truck, drag truck. Um, Larry, Will, Larry, Phil, and Wayne, they were, those are the names of different um, designers at Hot Wheels who designed the different car paint jobs, so on and so forth. And they, you know, each one of them had their own little series of garage cars. Well, you can see this is Phil's garage, and there's Phil's signature there, and there's Phil's signature right there as well. This is actually signed by Phil of uh, Phil's Garage um, by his own hand in gold ink right there for that Volkswagen drag truck. And this Redline Club exclusive Volkswagen drag bus also signed by Mr. Phil himself right there so super super cool pickups at the flea market hand signed by Phil himself so anyways that is the haul for the last long time and um, I do have a uh, box from Mario TF collectors let me get that filmed right now